All right, so it's now official that Case Keenum will be starting Thursday. Um, and I'm gonna have a video out later tonight. I've not recorded it yet, so it'll probably be out like, I don't know, eight, nine, something like that. Um, talking about Baker Mayfield and his future with the Browns. And I'll give you a little bit of a preview uh, of that video coming later in this one, because now that Case Keenum is officially starting uh, Thursday against the Broncos, and I've made my point on Case Keenum, I don't think he's a good quarterback uh, anymore. I don't even think he's really that great of a backup anymore. Not that he's never been good or he's never been successful. I just think at this point, I've seen enough of Case Keenum uh, in the preseason, in camp, um, you know, as recent as when he was starting in Denver, Washington. I just don't think he is a legitimate option. Um, but I will say this, and uh, this is the point here, that if Case Keenum comes out and has a really good game or a good game against the Broncos Thursday, um, you can kiss Baker Mayfield goodbye because they will continue to start Case Keenum uh, under the excuse of Baker's injury, where it's not like he doesn't have a real injury. It's fully torn um, after Sunday. I, honestly, I'm surprised that they haven't just announced that he's going to have to uh, have season-ending surgery on it. Um, and I think that'll probably be down the line at some point. But if Case Keenum has a good game Thursday, they're going to start him in the next game. And at that point, he'll have 10 days with the starters, um, you know, to get back in starting position, I guess you could say, as the starting quarterback. Um, and if he can stack up a few good games, again, he doesn't need to be great. He doesn't need to be spectacular. Uh, by any means, but if Case Keenum can have some good games, spread the ball around, in particular get OBJ more involved, um, because the reality is over the season we've seen the roller coaster of Baker Mayfield, and if Case Keenum can bring some stability to that position, again, doesn't have to be great, but if it can be uh, consistent and good enough, kiss Baker Mayfield goodbye. I'm telling you right now, this is the beginning of the end uh, if things go the way that they could go. Now, it also could be a complete disaster uh, in case Keenum can suck and the Browns are be in big trouble. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not just Baker being competitive that he wanted to play Thursday. He knows that this year has not been enough uh, for him to prove that he's the franchise quarterback and uh, if Case Keenum can do a solid job, they will move on. It's the end of the day. Uh, they will move on because if Case Keenum can do a decent job, then they can find another quarterback. And that's, to me, the big point here. So uh, the news that Case Keenum will be starting Thursday, this could be a huge turning point. Uh, for the future of the Browns. And again, stay tuned later today. I'll have a video out about Baker's future with the Browns. And again, I'm not against Baker. I would want nothing more than him to be our franchise quarterback. Um, but it's time we have a real discussion, put our feelings aside, and let's talk about this. So uh, stay tuned for that later. Uh, but what's your thoughts on Case Keenum starting Thursday? Uh, let me know in the comments, and we will see you in the next one later. Have a great day.